Welcome back everyone to the Matrix Unveiled. My name is Thanuj and I help people evolve their consciousness. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a very, very esoteric and important topic. Who are the Matrix programmers? What does it even mean to be a Matrix programmer? This is a very catchy word. This is a very eye-catchy word and I want to talk about this. This is a very serious topic so I think you guys need to sit down need to relax and you need to just pay attention to this video and the information that I'm going to share with you. So I've talked about a lot of esoteric topics on my channel and you know this is a matrix reality. This matrix, this reality is a digital hologram. So that's information number one. If you don't really recognize that this is a digital reality, what I need you to do is you need to go and watch some of the older videos talking about the matrix on this channel explaining how this reality works. So there's many, many different videos. Just type in the matrix on my channel and you will find information about it. But so if this is a matrix, if this is a digital computer simulation, which many people don't uh, accept that idea, but I know from my own anecdotal evidence, from my own experiences, that this is a matrix reality. So if this is a matrix, if this is a computer simulation, that would mean that there are programmers, there are creators of that very simulation. So the matrix programmers are individuals or consciousnesses or, or beings or intelligences or aliens, whatever you want to call them, that are not only in this matrix itself, but also outside of the matrix, which have programmed and created and written the actual source code of this matrix. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, we have to understand that this is a coded reality. What does that mean? It means that because this is a, a reality made out of energy, re, uh, a reality made out of frequency, that this entire simulation, which it is a simulation, is written in code. Now, this has been scientifically proven by a man named Sylvester James Gates Jr., which found binary code written within the fabric of the quantum reality when he was analyzing and doing certain experiments. This is why CERN also uses a quantum computer and uses things like the Large Hadron Collider because what they're doing is they're trying to crack different codes. They're trying to uncover different frequencies that's, uh, that source the reality. So when you actually see this code, you know they, they're looking on their, their devices and their technologies to see this code and to really analyze it to figure out what, what's going on. But when you see this code with your own consciousness, which you can see, um, it's just another layer within the matrix, then you know it's a simulation. So I've seen this code many, many times. I see it every single day. It's just a part of my life. And when I started to see this code, this was what shifted my reality into understanding that we were actually in a matrix and that this reality was totally not what we thought it was. So the matrix programmers are individuals that have incarnated number one into this matrix to experience the matrix, to help upgrade it, to help raise its frequency, to shift it into a higher dimension. And the matrix programmers are beings that are non-physical, that are not within the matrix, that are outside of the matrix, kind of like the admins in a video game or the developers in a video game. So there are many, many different beings that would have co-created this matrix together. Um, there's many different ancient stories that you can look up of different uh, races of beings that have been claiming to have created this matrix. But what I can tell you for certain is that some of those beings have now incarnated into physical forms in a human body. So what that means is that they carry this ancient soul knowledge, this very, very ancient soul knowledge of how reality actually works. And they are here because they're here to upgrade the frequency. They're here to upgrade the system. They're here to make systemic changes. And some of those systemic changes could only be made within the matrix. They cannot be made ex externally. They're, they need to be programmed because part of the, the changes are also actually impacting and recoding the people, the, the beings, the life forms, which are the humans. So, you know, in order to change the matrix, we must change the people that live within the matrix, which are the many different humans that operate because, you know, reality is created by thoughts and by intentions. 
And so we must shift the collective consciousness to a different frequency. And the way to do that would be to help humanity awaken and to shift. So this is deeper information beyond just astral projection, beyond just psychokinesis, beyond just, you know, being psychic or being uh, tapped into these kinds of things. So, there, you know, there's this huge spiritual movement right now talking about all of these metaphysical abilities and raising your vibration and raising your consciousness. And that's really, really powerful. But the thing that I see a lot of these channels and these a lot, a lot of these people missing is the very fundamental base understanding of reality, which is a digital hologram. So when we put that context into reality, that it is a digital hologram and that it is actually meant to be upgraded and that there are actually beings that can work with the source code that are incarnated in the matrix, we take it to a whole nother level. We take it to a level that has never been seen on uh, in humanity for a very, very long time. So, you know, humans have not even comprehended the idea that there is actually a source code within their reality. Many people are within this matrix and they live in this matrix and they basically see, um, you know, they're stuck in the physical. So there's a large variety of consciousness that it, that originates and that exists within this matrix. There's people that are very, very, very stuck in the physical. So they're all about the pleasures, the flesh and, and the suffering and all of the traumas and basically all of the obstacles that they're facing in their physical reality, which is, you know, what's going on with the world right now, what's going on with the, with the virus and with the riots and all of that stuff. Um, and the election and, you know, all of this mainstream stuff. Those are very physical topics. I'm not saying that they're they're not important, but they're very physical. They're they're based in Maya. They're based in the illusion of the matrix. Now, within this uh, this realm of consciousness, this spectrum of consciousness, we must understand that there are so many different um, perspectives that you can have. So as you raise your consciousness, you start to see that the problems of the material are just illusions. They are not actually problems because you realize it's a video game. It, you realize it's a matrix. You realize it's more of a simulation than it is actually a physical reality. Now, for those beings that are experiencing these problems, they very much believe that their problems are real. But see, the solution is not to solve the problem. The solution is to raise the consciousness of those beings so that way they can realize that their problems are are imaginary. For example, there's this huge issue right now with race going on in the US. Now, I've already shared my opinions on race. Essentially, my opinions are, first of all, you know, my consciousness is not over here, it's over here. So, when I talk about race, I'm saying that, look, race is not real because these avatars are not who you are. And when you understand that you're not this avatar, you're not the skin color, you're not associated with the physical body, race does not become something that you even consider it's not something that you think about because you're not focusing on that aspect of reality you're not focusing on the physical aspect of reality when i see somebody i see their energy signature i don't see their color i don't see their skin i don't see that i see what's in their energy what kind of vibration are they putting out are they a loving being are they a negative being are they a uh, higher vibrational are they negative are they having a good day are they having a bad day those kinds of things this is the kind of perspective that a matrix programmer has. They see energy and it's beyond just seeing the waveform version of energy, which is what a lot of people, um, they see, you know, the waveform where they see like little sparkles in the air or static or dust or, um, you know, different frequencies. There's levels to the frequency and of seeing this different information. So where you're at in your journey is totally up to you, you know, if you are able to see even a little bit more than beyond the physical, that's good. That means you're in the right step. And what you need to do is you need to continue progressing and working on your consciousness so that way you can eventually see more and more and more of the coded reality. Because when you realize it's a coded reality, your perspective will shift. The day that I started to see part of the code, that shifted my consciousness forever. And I will never go back to that part before because now I've totally shifted to a new dimension. So what I'm trying to explain here is that there are many beings out here that have incarnated for this very purpose. Okay, we have different energy signatures. We go into places like this and we incarnate. 
and we take into physical body and then we upgrade the system. So in the last video I was talking about, I was talking about how I was basically going into different worlds and doing programming and trying to figure out how to, you know, hack the simulation and, uh, you know, use different abilities and basically just coast in the, in, in the realm, which is exactly what I do in this realm. You know, you, you come into the simulation, you hack the code, you figure out what the code is, and then you basically take the code and you, you share the code with other people that are deserving of that code. And that is basically what we do. You know, there's, there's many of us out here. Um, some people call, you know, there's different levels to it as well. So it's not just the star seeds. It's not just the indigo children. You know, those are words that are, that have been propagated, but there's levels to the level of knowledge that a being uh, has. So there's many different light workers or, or beings that are coming here to share the light. But there's very few true programmers. That's something that I want to make a distinction of. Programming is totally different. Working with the source code is totally different than just working with a little bit of energy. This is a higher level. So these are some things that, you know, some of us, we've trained eons, m hundreds of lifetimes, thousands of lifetimes in many, many different simulations, in many, many different worlds, different realms. And we carry that knowledge with us each time we incarnate. We may forget for a couple of years, for you know half of our life even sometimes. But then we always awaken to who we truly are. And the way to really determine if you're a programmer is to look at what your interests are. Are you highly mathematical, but also extremely intuitive? So you have this insane blend, this very powerful blend of learning mathematics, which I've been always very gifted in math but also extremely intuitive, so very sensitive to energy. And then also highly in tune with uh, sciences and understanding reality and just very inquisitive as well, but also extremely psychic. So from the get-go, being able to see beyond the veil. And not just a little bit, as I, as I said, but actually having interdimensional beings come in and survey you as a child um, because you're a different being, you're a different soul and they know and so they keep a watch on you because they are intrigued by your performance and what you do these are all telltale signs if you've actually been a a programmer and then of course the biggest sign is that you actually can see the code and you see it regularly and you're able to work with energy and you have advanced level psychokinetic abilities not just um you know being able to do a little bit of aerokinesis but you know, actually being very proficient in it and being very skilled. So these are all different kinds of signs and, and telltales. Um, another one would be that you see very much beyond the physical and you do not fit in with other people. So even amongst the spiritual community, my channel stands out because it's different. It has a totally different vibration. Its vibration is leaps and beyond, uh, leaps and bounds beyond what a lot of other people are talking about. And that's not to discredit them. That's not to be sound egoic. That's simply to say, that my information is of a different caliber because we are here to reprogram the matrix. We are not just about, you know, spirituality. We are here to actually make a change in the source code of reality. That's something that I haven't heard too many people talk about. Um, and that's, that's because it's a unique mission. It's a unique purpose. And there's not too many people required to do that kind of a mission. But if you resonate with that information and you want to learn more, I highly encourage you to apply for my coaching and to check out my courses because they're going to be a good step for you to actually transition to a higher level matrix programmer and to actually learn about this information from someone that has spent a lot of time and years um you know honing my skills so if that resonates with you go ahead check it out it's on the matrix and .com. uh sign up for the coaching and i like to talk about a lot of different things i coach on a lot of different things so you know this is higher level information but we also we always start at the beginning so getting your emotions right getting your your sense of self right and then we work up to this higher level knowledge with reprogram uh, reprogramming reality so thanks so much for watching much love